Welcome back. <laughs> Think this show's a little too creepy sometimes? Not creepy enough, my friend. <laughs> my next guest is a very funny comedian. His new special is on Netflix. It's called Completely Normal. He's performing at Go Bananas in Cincinnati, May 5th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great name for it a is, comedy man. club, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Go Bananas? Where are you going tonight? Go Bananas. <laughs> in Cincinnati. He's there May 15th to the 17th. Please welcome the very funny Tom Segura, everybody. Tom Segura. Excellent. Yes. All right. Thank you. This is a lot. Thank you. Hello. I said hello. Thank you. Uh, I just realized recently that I definitely need a hobby because I don't actually do anything. <laughs> like, I do this sometimes, and that's, that's it, you know? <laughs> the same goes for all comedians. We're either, we're either doing shows or in hotel rooms, and that's a lot of time to kill. And the truth is, you can only watch so much porn before, <laughs> before you're like, all right. I'm gonna watch some more. <laughs> but right now it hurts. <laughs> I gotta find something else to do. <laughs> I got into online shopping recently because it, it feels productive. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm ordering this online and then when I get home it'll be there. Like, I did a lot today, man. <laughs> what I find myself doing is I shop for things that are like way out of my price range and then after a while, I tell myself I don't want them as if they're an option. You know, like, I was looking at yachts online. And I was like, ah, 155 feet. That's not even big enough for all my friends and family. I'm not getting that, you know? What am I doing? I spend like half, half a day just shopping online for the private jet that best suits my needs. And I'll be like, this is it. The G550. How much is this? Oh, 53? million dollars. Wow. Maybe not now, but maybe later. I'll just bookmark that for now. Boop. It's a sense of entitlement. It took me a while to figure that out. That's what that is. It's me thinking I should be associated with this thing I haven't earned yet, you know? But that entitlement feels really good. It does. I get it the most when I get upgraded to first class. I fly every week. I never buy a first-class ticket, I buy coach tickets. I buy them so much, I get bumped up to first class. I am telling you, the moment I get bumped up to first class, I get washed over with this feeling. I'm like, ugh, look at these disgusting poor pieces of trash, yeah. I'm so much better than everybody. Like, don't stand next to me, dude, you're gross. I dare you to come try to use the first class bathroom from coach when I'm up there because I will put my hand on your chest and I'll send you back. And I'll be like, no, there's a pig trough in the back for you guys. So don't have fun with that. I won't really do that, but you know what I mean. I swear to God, it, I travel so much. I get to ask the same question every week. So every week somebody's like, are people the same everywhere? <laughs> No. Some places suck. They have worse people. I just gave you a sociology degree in like two seconds. You didn't even appreciate it. Here's the, here's the real truth. There's one universal truth, and that is that everybody just wants to connect. It doesn't matter where you go or what language you speak. People just want to connect. But sometimes people try to force that connection. I think that's rude. Like I was checking into a hotel a few weeks ago. The guy comes from behind the counter and he goes, where are you from? And I said, uh, Los Angeles. And he goes, yeah, I got family in Denver. And I was like, <laughs> what a coincidence. And he goes, yeah, they got a furniture store. And I was like, I like to sit on furniture. We're two for two. I have shoes on. Do you have shoes on? Do you like to walk around? Let's party. Like, there's nothing there. Sometimes there's nothing there. And that's okay. You're not supposed to connect with everybody on the planet. That would be absurd. You should embrace that. I've been doing this. You should do this too. Next time you're at a bar or you're just out walking around and somebody goes, hey man, just go, nope. 
I'm all friended up. And if they're like, I just want to know what time it is, be like, I only tell my friends what time it is. Thank you guys. You're a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.